Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, it is one of our economic lifelines. The Port of Dover handles more than £120 billion worth of trade each year. But Channel 4 News has been speaking exclusively to the chief executive, who is worried that red tape after Brexit could seriously harm that free flow of trade. Research by the port, shown to this programme and presented to MPs this afternoon, warns that if a freight transit deal is not agreed, then processing times could double. And that could cause tailbacks of up to 17 miles each side of the channel. Our business editor, Siobhan Kennedy, reports. They certainly know what it's like living under a cliff edge here. The port of Dover has been ferrying goods and people to and from Europe for centuries. They want that seamless ebb and flow to continue. But it's the economic precipice of Brexit that's preoccupying them now. For millions of holidaymakers, Dover is the exit point to the continent, but it's also one of Britain's biggest trading ports, with as many as 10,000 lorries passing through here every single day, carrying everything from cars to computers to bananas. And while there have been many dire warnings from business about what might happen when Britain leaves the EU, here they try to quantify that potential chaos with some real numbers. According to the port, without a transit deal, the processing time for each lorry could double from two to four minutes at least. It predicts this could lead to 17-mile tailbacks every week on both sides of the channel. And the economic cost of this disruption, as much as a billion pounds. The worry has to be that the moment we leave the EU, we become a third country. That means both imports and exports are subject to a form of declaration and paperwork, which potentially could hold traffic up at the border. We'll very quickly see very long tailbacks on both sides of the channel, um, probably up to about 17 miles on a busy day on both sides. That's quite significant. Daily or weekly? Well, potentially a daily basis. Typically, a lorry is processed in approximately two minutes. With the progress of Brexit talks seemingly in the doldrums, this is the message the boss is taking this afternoon right to the door of Parliament as he lobbies for the UK to retain the same transit rules post-Brexit as now. The slowed movement of goods wouldn't just impact ports, it would impact the whole supply chain. What about those people who say that this is all um, scaremongering and, you know, pro-Brexiteers would say that just simply isn't going to happen? Um, well, if pro-Brexiteers can guarantee me that as a third country we can process the level of declarations we'd need on a customs basis seamlessly, then fine, they're absolutely right. Of course, no MP can guarantee that right now. But with so much of Britain's goods moved by sea, the government says the smooth running of ports like Dover is critical to our economic success and needs to be part of any deal. Businessmen like pro-Brexiteer John Mills know it too. Well, I don't think it's a huge surprise that uh, we've got these difficulties. I I've spent my life buying and selling products all over the world, so I've got some experience of all this. And obviously there were going to have to be changes made, and these were going to require different procedures at Dover. But with two years to get them organised, uh, that seems to me to be enough time for a determined government to get them all in shape. But it's this that worries the boss at Dover, so-called Operation Stack, when the M20 is turned into an emergency lorry park, also known as gridlock. These lorry drivers in a truck stop outside Dover said they know how that feels. I was driving in Operation Stack, and seriously, I was living in the van. I think it will be the same. The motor M20 will be close with 10, 20 kilometers of lorries waiting to do customs. For now, though, it's smooth sailing as usual. But a warning today that the headwinds of Brexit could blow us badly off course.